Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kel Strings here. Um, got a few days off in London, so I want to make some tutorials for y'all. Uh, today we're working on Somewhere Down in Texas by Jason Boland and the Stragglers. Never heard of this band before. Really cool song with a, amazing fiddle solos and interludes, and there's this beautiful fiddle outro at the end, which I think I wrote them both out, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, the whole song in this first video and then maybe a part two um, with the outro. Hope everybody's well. Happy fiddling. Let's get right into it. This uh, tune is in the key of E major, so the finger patterns are going to be a lot different, actually, from what we've been doing. Um, <laughs> Biggest difference is the third fingers on the D and the A string are going to be higher than normal. So, So here we go. This is the intro, and then uh, we're gonna start with the intro to this song. I actually can't remember who actually um, requested this. I think it was M H. I just I don't want to miss say it, so I'm saying I think that's who it is. But yeah, if you requested this, I'm so sorry. Uh, feel free to put up a message saying, "Hey, this was my request." Uh, yeah, here we go. about the recording that's kind of different from how I'm playing it here is um, I can just kind of hear that the fiddle player in this band is using their fourth finger or their pinky finger one two three four that's kind of how the you know fingers are called in violin terms um, yeah using that instead of playing open strings so if you notice you could play and play an open A, or you could use your fourth finger and it gives a different timbre. Uh, this is, there's really no, I guess the reason why you might use your fourth finger instead of playing an open string, it's really just kind of what you like better in terms of what sounds better. There's all these rules if you're playing classical music and sometimes there's rules like this for fiddle music. If you need your fourth finger, in order to play double stops. But anyway, all that to say, um, for this lesson, basically any time you see A open, you could play fourth finger on the D string if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it sound more like the violinist, I mean the fiddler or violinist in the song, that's how you can make it sound that way. I think that can be more of an advanced technique in a way, but I definitely encourage you to work on that because it's, you know, your fourth finger is definitely the least used. Uh, so, you know, you have to build that strength up like anything. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do that if you want. For this video though, I'm actually just going to play open strings because uh, it's more of a beginner tutorial. Let's get right into this intro. Uh, it starts with a basically like a scale. This is actually the first, you know, notes of an E major scale. You have D1, which actually is 
E, the note E, <laughs> but for our notation purposes, we're starting D1, D2, D3, open A, or if you're trying to play like the fiddler in the song, fourth finger, and then first finger on the A string. So back to the simplified version. I play a second A1, uh, sometimes he does it, or she, um, I don't know who the fiddler is, so, uh, sometimes they play it, but, uh, so I'll put it in there in, like, parentheses. Here we go again. And then we do this. And what that is, is A1, A open, D3, D2. Kind of going back down the scale one open d3 d2 and then a open d3 one i mean a open d3 d1 all of that together slowed down to recap on everything we just did Now we just repeat that second line again, and then it goes G3, G2. This is the same kind of thing where your third finger is higher than it normally is and your second finger is spaced out. And then it's G3, D1, D1. So. You notice that, that that's it, that's the end of this intro. And it, you notice that it resolves on D1 because that is actually an E note, as we mentioned earlier, and the song is in the key of E. Okay, we kind of blew through that intro, so let's go through it a bit slower now. job everybody uh here it is that pace so he sings a verse he sings a chorus and then we have this gorgeous violin or fiddle interlude again and you'll notice that the whole first half is basically the intro. Uh, so I'm gonna write it out all out here. It's quite long, but just make note that the whole first half is already what we just learned. So here, I'm gonna play the whole thing for you and you can just kind of follow along and then we'll go through the second half of it, okay? <laughs> second half you'll notice the first half is exactly the same as what we already just learned so we're not gonna go over that again there's it ends with the g3 g2 that's kind of so it doesn't actually play the very last line of the intro the g3 d1 d1 so you scrap that for this and uh it just plays a couple pickup notes into this again it's kind of hard when you listen to the recording to know, to, to realize exactly what he does. This probably isn't exact to it, but it's some kind of pickup lines like this, and this is what I would do. So it's basically G3. G3 to G1 are your pickup notes. And when we say pickup, it's kind of like notes that lead into the phrase or lead into the 
beginning of the next part, the next measure. So uh, what I'm doing is G3 to, uh, sorry, not G1, D1, oops. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely that. So <laughs> G3 to D1. That's familiar, right? So that's the same, same as the first part, repeated again. And then we do this beautiful E open to A3 to E open to A2, A2. And that sounds like... For you, for you folks who are trying to work on your fourth finger, you could play A4, A3, A, I mean, yeah, A4, A3, A4 instead of the open E. And you know why he probably does this is because there's less bow crossings. You know, that's, bow crossings are not super easy. Um, when you have a lot of notes in a thing, so in a song. So that's actually, now that I think of it, that's probably why he's playing fourth finger. Can be a little easier for some people than. Okay, so that's the alternative way. This is how I'm gonna do it. The next line is similar in that it starts out again with E open, A3, E open. And it goes A open, A1, A2. All together. You could slur those notes. And then um, it does this E open, A4, A3, E open again. To set up this super long downward um, so here it all is written out E open A3 A2 A3 A2 A1 A2 A1 A open D3 D2 D1 flat so what that is and then into D1 that resolve again d1 resolves in has a very resolving sound in the song because it is the note of e which is the key of the song e major all right going back to this kind of difficult when i say d1 flat i mean you're gonna take your first finger on the d string and bring it all the way down to basically like the nut and then slide back into D1. And uh, yeah, let's go over all of that again uh, from the second half of this interlude slash solo. It basically comes after the first, I think it comes after the first chorus. Um, so we've done this. You already know this. And here we are on the pickup. Similar. Again. I'll play the whole thing slowly it's good even though you already know the first part really well it's good to practice the two of them together because if you practice the second thing alone which you probably will be doing um which is great uh when you put them together it makes it easier to for your kind of mind to realize that transition it's all muscle memory right so um here we go
job. Great job. That is a lot of, of notes. A lot of notes, a lot of bow crossings. We're nearly finished with this. Right, so going into the bridge, first part is the same, second part is the same until you go the part that we know from the second part and then it just, just goes a3 a2 a1 a2 a1 a open d1 d2 d3 and that kind of leads into the chord of the bridge and then the final bit before the outro which I'm just going to do in a whole other video because it's it's its own beautiful piece of work um is basically the fiddler just repeats and this is the album version by the way the album version uh from the album pearl snaps I noticed that there was like a live album too where the fiddler does a whole other thing that is not the part that I learned or wrote out um this is from the album album version uh yeah so He's kind of singing the choruses at the end, and the last thing that the fiddler does before the outro starts, like the break, drum breakdown in the outro, is he basically just plays the first part of the solo twice, or the intro twice, which is... Um, the whole tune of the tune itself not including the outro of somewhere down in texas by jason boland and the stragglers hope you all like that more tutorials coming at you soon thanks for tuning in bye